U.S. Navy Commander Steve Murdoch has been deployed for the last year in South Africa and decided to surprise his son Riley during his Michigan High School graduation ceremony. Just following you. <laughs> so proud of you, I was just basically staring straight forward at the guy who's giving out diplomas, and I'm like, wait a minute, what's going Oh my god. <laughs> The touching moment was Steve's idea, and WDIV was there behind the scenes before the big moment. Pretty excited, I'm a little nervous. It's uh, hard uh, peeking through the curtain there and seeing him sing and hearing his voice and stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. The Navy dad emailed the Romeo High School principal beforehand to set it all up, and only two people knew about the surprise leading up to the day. We're sure traveling 30 hours for that surprise was worth it. And it's a moment that Riley and his dad will never forget. Don't forget to watch Inside Edition. Joyce Jordan always taught her granddaughter Siri never to tell a lie. Well, today, Siri is about to learn that it may be okay every once in a while to stretch the truth. She thinks I'm picking up a college friend. He's very gullible. <laughs> Siri and her grandmother are not here to pick up an old college friend. After months deployed in Iraq, Siri's dad, Minnesota soldier Dan Jordan, is coming home. Grandma knows that. Siri doesn't. She has no idea, no, no idea. And so they wait for Siri's surprise. Do, do, do. How many more minutes? Well, I got about maybe 10. I see somebody that has kind of gray hair. There's my friend. Right no, down. wait, Whoa. that's Dad, that's Dad. What the, oh my God. Dad, what are you doing here? Oh my God. Oh my God. A powerful moment between dad and daughter. I'm being interviewed. <laughs> it's like unbelievable. It's like all of a sudden I see a, um, a guy come and stuff and it looks like my dad. I'm like, wait, that's my dad. I called her the other day and she's like, I wish you could come home. And I said, well, I'll talk to my boss. And she didn't think I was really serious. So it was really nice that he was able to let me come home. So. The reunion will last just a few days, but for Siri Jordan and her dad, the memory of this will last a lifetime. Yep, this is what keeps me going. returned from Afghanistan serving our country. So uh, this is a pretty cool thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And Scotty's really close to his uncle. Yeah. So they wanted to surprise him because he just got home. Who's your? No. Do you have any How long has it been? Uh, eight, nine months. months. No, no wow. Since February. Uh, you got you got tall. <laughs> Holy cow. Sorry, there is no uh, going to pick up Uncle Man on Saturday. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> How many of you have a family member that's been overseas in Afghanistan or Iraq or anywhere else? <laughs> And the Arizona, and the Arizona Diamondbacks, Diamondbacks would like to wish, wish Micah, Micah a very a happy, happy ninth birthday. birthday. And we and also we want also to let you know, know that we have a special, special birthday, birthday surprise, surprise for you, for Micah. You, Micah. Ladies and Ladies gentlemen, and please, gentlemen welcome please welcome back, back Micah's, Micah's dad, dad technical, technical Sergeant, Sergeant Micah, Micah Vickers, Vickers, who has who served has more than 10 years in the United, United States, States Air, Force, Air Force and is currently and is serving, serving a 15-month tour of duty overseas. overseas. Thank, you Thank you for your for service. Your service. Welcome, welcome home and happy, happy birthday, birthday, Micah. Micah. Pierce County Parks and Recreation recently held the No Sun Fun Run, where for one girl, she was set up for the surprise of a lifetime. Megan Hutton has more. 300 runners arrived thinking this race would be like any other. Sign in, get your number, and wait. Even the weather was perfect for the No Sun Fun Run. But in the crowd was a 14-year-old girl who didn't know something special was about to happen. And it all started with a phone call. We've got a really great surprise. Um, you know, she doesn't know her mom's coming in. Can you help us? And I was like, of course we can. Keep your eye on Kelsey in the red sweatshirt. <laughs> the race got off without a hitch as runners wound their way around Heritage Recreation Center in Puyallup. If you ask Kelsey's guardian, she was more excited for the race to be over. This is our fourth deployment as a family, and Kelsey's been with us for the last year, and uh, it was just a way to end her year with us and surprise her and show her how much we love her. I am here to um, surprise my daughter. Just returned from Afghanistan. After runners crossed the finish line, a one-year deployment would no longer separate this mom and daughter. I've got the best kid in the world, and I just cannot wait to see her. Can I get Kelsey Dixon up here for a sec? We found something out on the trail for you. Little did Kelsey know that during the award ceremony, there was a special award waiting just for her. <laughs> a hug can be so powerful. No words are needed when you haven't seen your mom in so long, and you hoped she would come home safe. And you can tell Jennifer is surprised by how much her daughter has changed. Awesome. Short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're like the same height here. <laughs> Megan Hutton, Pierce County News. She's in line. She's in line. Hold on. I saw her right over here. Caitlin. Caitlin. Okay. How are you? Baby, you don't want to go home with Daddy? We can eat lunch at home with Daddy, okay? You want to play with your friends? You don't want to go home? All right, hold on. Let me it's amazing. They're amazing. And tomorrow they perform at the Nebo competition. We've just seen this cauldron make a witch appear as the band played her favorite malevolent theme. It's a magical cauldron. Let's see what happens when the band plays a different song. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. 
for playing of the official song of the United States Army. The Army goes rolling along. sense of pride in me, you know, that I was able to do this for, but at the same time, you know, just a lot of anticipation and anxiety because uh, I can't wait to see her reaction is. In November, as soon as I walked in the door, I loved the house right away. He was kind of like down and out because he was like, you know, I think that house is going to come through. And he didn't really give me, a, you know, reasons why. I just was like, okay, it's okay, you know, I'm sure we'll find something else. But inside I was like, oh, that house is so beautiful. And so I just felt like we were just still house searching. The day came. <laughs> he just tell me a story like, Jill just called me and she said that, um, you know that house we went to see, it didn't go through with the um, buyers and um, she told us to come look at it. As I walked my wife up to the house, I was still kind of nervous because uh, it was still big for me and it hasn't sank in and, and, and might not you know, sink in for years and years to come now. I came in and he told me to look at this um, certificate that was on the counter. It was just like, you know, this is your house and it had the address and everything. <laughs> <laughs> No. This. <laughs> oh my God. I am surprised when well, I shouldn't have been because when this man gets his mind set on something, it's done. No clue whatsoever. I just thought, well, we love the house and I'm sure we will find another one, but this was the house that when we first came in, I just. I just fell in love with it, and it just fun. I'm so happy right now. Veterans United laid out the steps uh, for home ownership. Just, I mean, it was just seamless. Uh, you know, through each process, you know, there was someone that actually, you know, facilitated my way along the process and just made everything so easy. Wow. I'm definitely indebted to uh, Veterans United Home Loans. I mean, I'm surprised, but I, I mean, I shouldn't because he's always surprising me with things. But this one was a really big one. He pulled it off. I would never forget it. This has been a surprise in my life. Mm -hmm. 